Well, happy weekend, everyone. It's Saturday, and I hope it's a good weekend for you all. Um, boy, what a difference a day makes. Yesterday, it was all nice and sunny out, and today it's cold and dreary and rainy. And I woke up in the middle of the night, and I swear I thought I saw snow flurries coming down in the rain, with the rain. So, yeah, quite a bit of difference. Um, And today I don't have a second segment um, worked up for you yet. I've I've been working on several different segments that will probably become videos of their own. um, Because uh, I'm I'm working on more of the herbs that you can use, uh, beneficial herbs. And. There's another one that someone had suggested, and uh, I'm working on it, too. Uh, I won't say what it is yet, because I haven't really officially even given it a name. But it's it's about uh, dreams and visions and things of that nature. I will tell you that. And I'll leave you hanging on that one. Plus, also, I was going through my my stash of crystals. And aside from the ones I have sitting out here on my desk, like like these, and then on the other side, you can't see it, but I have a display case full of them. But I have a box. I put them all in a box, and the box is about as wide as this square here this square going around here it's about as wide and it's square so it's equally high full of full of crystals so and one thing i did find just i thought i'd show you look at this slice of obsidian i found that i packed away nice piece very nice piece But now let's get to uh, today's tarot reading. And let's see what today brings. So, yes. We will be expanding our channel to new and exciting different uh, dimensions, I guess you could call it. Um, Because really, uh, oh, I don't know. Terry and Al's spirit stalking. Although originally we intended for it to be just about uh, all about communication with the spirits. But uh, I guess in our hearts, that's not been all that we've wanted to do because there's so much more uh, that uh, I enjoy doing and sharing with you all. And not to say that we won't still continue to do uh, communication with the spirits and doing cemeteries and other haunted places. I I would love to still continue to do that, but uh, I don't know. That's not quite what I want to do 24-7, you know what I mean, on this channel. I want to spice it up and add some variety and... uh, Kind of share, you know, my life with you and what's going on. Because my life isn't all about just the spooky, you know. It's about other things as well. Well, like, like my readings. 
and I'm going to have to uh, do a, a group reading with you all. But uh, I want to do one with Cassie, Oracles and Beyond. Because she does card readings as well. And I love working with her. She's just so sweet and uh, funny. And so it's either going to be on her channel or ours. I cannot shuffle today at all. It's just one of those mornings. But yes, it's going to be on, either on her channel or ours. Um, whichever comes up first, we'll have to see. And I'll have to talk to her more about it. And I was hoping to even get Danny in on it, but uh, I know Danny's not been feeling well recently. So uh, send out some uh, hope and prayers to Danny. Danny of CBAS, uh, Danny White Wolf, as he goes by. He does uh, Mahjong readings that I love. They are so cool. But he's not been feeling up to par recently. and uh, So please send out blessings and prayers for, uh, for him. And... Uh, some other friends of mine, uh, Missy from Shadows of the Moon, and Eddie uh, from, uh, I think it's just Chaos. I know Chaos is in the name, and I can't recall right now, but Eddie uh, had to have some heart surgery, and... Uh, Luckily, I'm so glad he came out of it okay, and hopefully things will be going good for him. So if you can, say some prayers for him, uh, just to make sure, you know, his recovery goes smoothly. Let me, uh, oh, I'm going to give him one more shuffle here. With that being said, yes, please put out your prayers to, uh, Danny and Eddie. Okay. So let's see what uh, today's card will be. Oh. Today's card is strength. And check out the details real closely. And I will tell you the symbolism in it all. In this card... You will see a woman who is calmly holding the jaws of a fully grown lion. Despite the fact that the lion looks menacing and strong, the woman seems to have dominion over it. What is captivating is how gracefully she controls the lion. She is calm and collected, which is representative for being in control and disciplined, especially in times of great adversities. The fact that she is also holding the jaws of a lion shows that she has courage. Her control over the lion, without being too rough, shows love and compassion. The blue background over the mountains shows stability and the kind of calmness that comes with being stable. The lion is a symbol of courage, passion, and desire. 
which are very much part of the human feelings that are necessary for survival. But if these feelings are not put into check, can lead to our eventual destruction. When you get the strength card, then it shows that you have inner strength and fortitude during moments of danger and distress. It shows that you have the ability to remain calm and strong, even when your life is going through immense struggle. It also shows that you are a compassionate person, and you always have time for other people, even if it's at your own expense. Your resilience will greatly aid you, and your fearlessness means that you should have no issues speaking your mind. Getting the strength card means that you are a very patient individual who is likely to accomplish anything that you put your mind to. Your resilience will greatly aid you, and your fearlessness means you should have no issues speaking your mind. This card also indicates the kind of compassion that will always be rewarded with having a lot of stability in your life, either presently or in the near future. Now, as for love, you may find yourself in a passionate and fiery romance when you draw the strength card, but the intense feelings suggested by this card can indicate both a strong relationship and also one that can be prone to anger, jealousy, or other emotional explosions. There are both pros and cons with this kind of relationship. Alternatively, strength's tarot love meaning is one of compassion, empathy, and inner strength. You may find these qualities are bound to attract the partners that you need or bring you and your existing partner closer together than ever. Empathy may give you greater insight to both yours and your partner's needs and insecurities. Should you find yourself in an argument or in heated moments, it may be better for you to treat each other with patience and gentleness rather than allow your anger to take control. Career-wise, if you could harness your animalistic instinct, your anger, your drive, and passion, you can take big steps in your career. This doesn't mean to let these instincts take over, but rather work in harmony with them or channel them into productive use. Here is where you'll be able to find your power. This card signals that you will likely already have the talent and skill. You only need to muster your courage to make big moves. If you're looking for a promotion, do something to get noticed. If you're looking to change your entire career, take the plunge and do it. If you're dreaming about starting your own business, push yourself to take those next steps and just start. Financially, if you've been working well on controlling impulsive spending, it's likely that you'll find yourself in a comfortable position right now. So long as you continue to exercise control, you should be fine. You may also be ready to make some bold moves in terms of your purchases, perhaps putting your finances to work on something you've always been dreaming of. All right, so overall, it can be difficult to figure out what the strength card is telling you when the tarot shows you this card. But one only needs to look to strong female heroines, such as uh, Joan of Arc or Helen Keller, and the demons they needed to tame as examples of the qualities that strength exudes. This major arcana card is telling you that you have these qualities as well, whether you believe you do or not. Whether you are asking about love, work, or just a life situation, Tarot is pointing you to the traits you have inside you that you may need to tap into in order to fulfill your soul's purpose. The presence of the angel in this card may also indicate the presence of good energy surrounding you during this time. Sometimes we are given the message to wait things out or just hold on to. The strength card can point to substance taming as well. Maybe it's time to face that demon. But if you are waiting for love, the strength card is a positive omen for that one as well. And work, discipline, and just keeping a lid on your temper is also called for when this card appears. It's a turning point either way. Taming the demons is what will help you until you reach your ultimate goal. 
So have strength, maintain control, and you all should do just fine. Now I hope uh, hope some of you all can uh, associate with that card. So, without any other segment to do today, and I'm sorry, I I'll have to pull out some crystals to uh, to do some fill in while I'm working on these other bigger segments, like I mentioned in the first part of this video. Um, Anyway, you all have a great Saturday. Uh, blessed be. Peace. And uh, bye-bye till tomorrow. Take care.